गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स दिस क्लेसन इज फॉर क्लास सिक्स फॉर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स टॉपिक डेटा हैंडलिंग विच इज कवर्ड इन चैप्टर वन पेज नंबर डी एच थ्री इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक एंड इज बींग सबमिटेड टू यू ऑन फिफ्टीन फेबररी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज we will do different types of graph that is pictograph frequency distribution table bar graph or column graph okay students now students whenever your data is given in numerical form it is become very easy to interpret when your information is given in picture form okay so let us discuss our very first graph that is pictogram now children whenever your data is large you can represent your information with the help of picture that is p okay so pictograph helps us to read the information easily now children let us discuss this pictograph by taking an example now children in example number 1 pictograph shows the number of balls sold now children you can see that this is a pictograph here we have written one side shop on another side we have shown the things with the help of picture so let's see what is given here now children this is called key here one ball represent four balls i repeat picture of one ball is representing four balls okay so whenever there is one ball you will consider that as four balls if there are two balls you will consider that as eight balls okay now let's read the information given in this pictograph now in shop a now children you can see that how many balls are there how many balls you can see there are four balls so it means in total how many balls were sold 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 or you can write 4 fours are 16 so it means shop a sold how many balls four balls next one shop b now let's see how many balls were sold by shop b now children these are the full balls so it means 1 2 3 4 5 6 it's 24 24 plus half ball half ball will represent two balls so it is 26 how four there are six balls so four six are 24 and there is one half ball and that is plus 2 so you will get 26 balls okay student i hope you are clear with shop b now let's talk about shop c now children look carefully there are full four complete balls so four fours are 16 16 plus 1/4 now children you can see that this is your 1/4 part okay so 1/4 part means one ball okay so 16 plus 1 is equal to 17 so how many balls were sold by shop c that is 17 okay now let's discuss about shop d now children here three complete ball balls are there so it means 3 fours are 12 plus how many is going to represent by this ball children here three fourth part is there means one fourth part is cut and three fourth part is there so it means it's three balls okay or you can just calculate three fourth means three upon four multiply by total balls that is four so four and four cancel you get three so 12 plus 3 15 so it means shop g have sold 15 balls is it clear students so now we have discussed that how many balls have been sold by 
these four shops now let's go to our question now children first one you have to convert the pictograph into table form you have to represent all the things in the table form so now we have already discussed that shop a sold 16 bulbs shop b 26 shop c 17 and shop d 15 okay now let's read question number two which shop sold the largest number of bulbs and what was the number now children you can check out in this table that shop b has sold maximum number of bulbs and the number is 26 okay now similarly the third one third is which shop sold the least number of bulbs so here the least number of bulbs sold by shop d and the number is 15 okay children so i guess you are clear with pictograph now children it's become very easy when we represent our information with the help of pictures now let's move on to our second table the way of representing our information is frequency distribution table that is telemark table now children this is also very interesting let us discuss this now when the data is quite large now for each entry you will put a stroke now what you will do for each entry or for each information you will put a stroke okay so now you have and that is called telemarks and if you have any information more than four then the fifth one will come diagonally now children let us discuss example number two then we will be clear with this question now question is shoe size of 15 students are given make a telemark table okay so now children in telemark table we are having three things that is three columns first you will write shoe size next is telemark and the next last one is frequency now let us discuss one by one now children in this for each entry you have to put a stroke now let me show you first one is four so now children here you will write here you will put one stroke for the entry four now five now you have to write for shoe mark five now next entry is four now you will put another stroke on four now next entry is five so now you will put five uh, you will put a stroke on five next is three now you will put a stroke on three next is six now put a stroke or put a line on six now next one is four so you will put a stroke on four side by side children you will cancel so that there will be no confusion next is five so you will put a stroke on five next is three so you will put a stroke on three okay next is five so you will put a stroke on five five shoe size next is six so i'm going to put on six next is four now you will put a stroke on four now next is five so now children here already four are there so fifth will be diagonally okay next is again five shoe size so you will put a another stroke and next one is four so you will put again already four over there so you will put the next stroke diagonally so now these are called telemarks. These are called telemarks. When we put the strokes, these becomes telemark. Okay, children. Now you have to see the frequency. Now children, frequency means that how many times a thing is repeating. Like three is repeating how many times? Two times. Here, what is, how many uh, children are having four shoe size? That is five it's five here you will write five okay children so this is your five okay and next one is your five shoe size how many children are having 
This is 6. Here you will write 6. And next one is your 6 and only 2 students are having shoe size 2. Is it clear children? So this is called your tally mark table in which you will show tally marks and your frequency. Is it clear students? Now let's move on to our next graph that is bar graph. Now children, this is very important graph. Now children, before going to bar graph, you should know the things which we are going to make in bar graph. Now children, first of all, in bar graph, you have to draw x-axis and y-axis. Then you have to label both the axes. Right? Then you have to make equal interval on x-axis and y-axis. Then make the bars according to the given information or given table. And now children, be careful that the width of the bars should be equal. Right? So let us see with the help of an example. So first one is the table shows the marks scored by five students in a class. Draw a column graph to represent the data. Okay. So now the name of the children are given. Rhea, Raj, Seema, Rahul, Raman. And the marks are 50%, 40%, 60%, 80%, and 70%. Okay, students. So now in this, let's see what you are going to make. I told you first you will draw an x-axis. This is horizontal as your x-axis. And you will show your y-axis. Okay, students, this is x-axis and this is your y-axis. Now, just represent the, uh, you have to write what is uh, you are going to represent on the x-axis. So children, here we are going to write the name of the students and here we are going to show the, on the y-axis, we are going to show the marks of the students, percentage. Now here, make the equal divisions on the y-axis, that is 10%. You can start one unit is 10%, 10%, 20%, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and 80%. Okay. So now children, you have to go according to your question. Now let's see what is in the question. Now children, in the first one, Rhea scored how much marks? 50%. Okay. So now you will make a mark, uh, bar and it will be like this. You have to show till 50%. Now next Raj is 40%. So you have to show the width, equal width. So it will be 40%. Next is Seema. And Seema is how much? It's 60%. So you have to show the bars like this in next bar. That is 60%. Okay. And next one is your Rahul, 80%. So you have to see where is your 80% on the y-axis. So it is your 80%. And the last one is Raman, that is 70%. So you have to show the bar to 70%. So now children, your bar graph is complete. You have written x-axis, you have written y-axis, you have written that what is depicted on the x-axis and y-axis, okay? And your bars should be of equal width. So now children, I hope you are clear with all these three graphs. Now, you are required to do these questions as your homework. Exercise 1A, question number 4 and question number 6. Then, exercise 1B, question number 2 and question number 6. Thank you, students.